Hey everybody, how's it going? I am so excited. You guys have been asking uh, for this trainer talk with Brooke for quite some time. <laughs> and so I'm happy to be able to bring it. Hi Brooke. Thank you. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Good. How was really your class well. this morning? It was fun. Good. It was really fun. Good. Showered, rushed over here. I know. I, <laughs> I know. I couldn't believe how quickly you got over there, uh, got over here. So um, that's fun. awesome. So uh, just uh, for those of you that are joining us for the first time, um, when it comes to one of these trainer talks, you guys do have the opportunity to ask Brooke quest- questions directly. You can just type them in as a comment and we'll get to them um, as soon as we can. We got one hour to Let's not do it. I feel like we're starting early. Are we not starting early? Uh, we're just amazing. I know. <laughs> Okay, tablet time, tablet time. So, (laughs) anyways, so some people might be joining us as we go. But anyways, please do type in your questions, and Brooke can answer those. Uh, Ask whatever you like, and and uh, we'll decide whether or not it's appropriate for her to answer (laughs) that or not. And then. Uh, Jess is here with us, and Jess is our moderator, so she'll be reading uh, your questions aloud for Brooke to answer. Um, I'd love to start with yeah. some questions that that Stuart. I have okay. uh, for you, Brooke. Um, Brooke, how long have you been with Studio Sweat? Oh my gosh, I have been with Studio Sweat. Let's see. Well, this is really funny. I go always off of my middle son. I have three kids, yeah. three boys, and my middle one I think was like nine months old when I got my certification to teach spin, okay, and which was at the first location. So yep. I've been here a long time. Yeah, <laughs> so that would have been back then um, in 20... and a half. So okay. okay. Yeah, so I've been certified teaching spin for 10 years. Yeah. I would say at Sweat now for nine. Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, were you a spin instructor? I know the answers to these, but I'm asking anyways. Please do. Were you a spin instructor <laughs> anywhere else before? Yes, just as another small gym in San Diego. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. And what about um, other styles of training, other workouts? When did you start doing those? Um, let's see. I did. So I've been doing TRX, TRX training now, um, probably around seven or eight years. Maybe and even more, because that possible. started at Studio One. It did. And then it we did. were only there for two years, right? I'm just trying to think yes, out loud Yes, I know. I'm, it's a blur. Yeah. But it kind of all happened around the same time. Yeah. I know it was spinning first. Then I did the TRX, and then I actually did um, my personal training certification. After that, twice. yeah. So I kind of clumped them all together. So those are the things I do. Wait, what's I your favorite? What, uh, of, oh, of, of, let's just let's stick with, I won't open the entire world to you. Spinning, TRX, or just general strength training. Mm. What if you if you had to like pick it for teaching? Oh, for teaching. Yeah, probably. Um, well, you know, I love combo classes. Yeah. So, but I think I I always um, use TRX in my classes yeah. ninety percent of the time. Yeah. Um, just because I think it's very effective mm-hmm. and it works. Yeah. And so that, what do you I like about it? it? You're, but um, I'll tell you this too. People like what they're good at. She, I always say I'm a good, I'm a, I'm a really good TRX instructor. I am <laughs> Brooks better. <laughs> like, and I don't say that about oh. anybody else. <laughs> I, I think I just very passionate about it because I yeah. love, um, I just think that your body is that your best tool, mm-hmm. um, whether you're injured or coming out of an injury, uh, whether you're older and. Um, or younger depends on like what your needs are I just think it can really meet those needs and um and so like TRX like for instance like the tricep press I think is like the oh, best that one. exercise for your triceps I do too that's my favorite whenever anyone yeah. says tricep exercise I always say TRX tricep. yeah and yeah. I just think you know your whole body has to work really really hard on the TRX regardless if you're um standing or in plank position or on your back or whatever I mm-hmm. just think everything has to work so hard yeah and it takes a lot of mental energy as well to make sure that your form is right and that Agreed. matters yeah that absolutely matters. And it's hard so. for you um, mm-hmm. based on your body. Whereas um, if someone were to grab a 25 pound dumbbell mm-hmm. and they were at one strength or fitness level and another person were to grab the same dumbbell, <laughs> whoa, totally, totally different, different experiences, mm-hmm. right? With TRX, mm-hmm. just because you can change your body angle. Yes. Um, you're working within yourself. And right. That, yeah. That's, Which I love. Yes. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're so good at it. So Brooke and I oh, did a... You. Uh, master workshop up in the Bay Area and four and years ago four years ago yes exactly mm-hmm. four years just about four years ago and um, man we learned so much yeah. in that training it was and then, so great it was and 
And we came out of that as um, two of the only certified master instructors in in Southern California. Mm-hmm. So that was that was cool. Yeah. But oh my gosh, we were so sore. <laughs> We must have done, how many reps do you think we did? Just like think about all the exercises. How many reps? It was like 40 of like atomic push-ups. I like literally. Yeah. Was like and that was one of like a million. We were so, and Brooke and I just, I mean, we were in, we work out a lot. We're in good shape. We could hardly move. No, I know. It was that good. Oh, okay. Goodness. Okay. Well, that's great. So um, talk to us about your workout regimen mm. today. Like, what do you do? What do I do? Like yeah. on a weekly basis? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> this might surprise you, but I do not work out every day. Um, I think I, and we'll probably, we'll definitely get to this, mm-hmm. but, um, you know, for those of you that have been a part of On Demand for a long time, um, you will know I had a, a baby three years ago, in which just life really turned upside down. And again, I'll, well, I'm sure that'll come up, but you think, um, <laughs> Um, I would say before I had him, I was just working out constantly. Yeah. And, um, which a lot of people say, wow, that's amazing. Um, but to be honest with you, it wasn't amazing. Like I was very much burnt out. Yeah. It was too much. And I was feeling, I was feeling that, but I didn't know how to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, it's an addiction. It it, mm -hmm. it can be an addiction. Mm -hmm. And, um, just, I was having some health issues and things like that. Um, not related to pregnancy, but anyway, so today I would say I probably work out, um, four days a week. Mm -hmm. One of those is obviously I teach on Friday mornings, a spin sculpt class, and then like I'll come in and crash classes like Bethany's boot camp sometimes on Mondays, Uh or I just work out at home. Yeah. Um, and they do too. So they get it. They love it. Yeah. (laughs) And, um, just yeah and not even always for an hour so what kind of workouts do you do at home I mainly do strength training and TRX combo classes that I put together myself Mm -hmm. um or I'll even do some of the on-demand yoga classes yeah um I'm loving if you got like Zach I think he's awesome I know I love Zach yeah he's and Jeanette Jeanette, and Charlie they're all fabulous I know (laughs) they all are yeah um Zach's super chill he's just yeah yeah so I yeah I do that and I would say even 25 to 30 minutes um because sometimes that's all I have time for right um and I give myself grace in that I, I definitely feel like my mindset has shifted to where I'm like I don't need an hour to get a killer workout Mm -hmm. Um, I can really nail it out of the park in like 25 to 30 minutes I agree it took me a while to figure that out as well um you know if you have the hour great but if you don't get get in what you can Mm -hmm. and and um, we're in my sweat room right now and I use it uh probably um two or three days a week yeah and then I love the combination of of this and the in-studio experience and we're fortunate enough to be able to do both whereas a Mm -hmm. lot of the people that are watching this they they don't have the option that Mm -hmm. we do there so I think that's great Let's talk about combos, okay? <laughs> because you, Brooke, are known as the queen of combos. Oh my gosh, I love I love that, by the way. Thank mm-hmm. you. <laughs> talk to us about why you love those and, combo uh, moves so much. Maybe so, some people might not understand what a combo move is. So okay. give an example. Um, talk about why you love them so much. So for me, when I started doing combo moves and just started to kind of go with that as like my thing... Um, again, it had to do with time. So like for me, like to do a squat with a bicep curl, um, instead of doing like three rounds of just squats and three rounds of just bicep curls, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to, again, put it together and get it both done in the same time. Gotcha. Like the time. Yeah. So, um, and I so like that's the, an example of that's combo an example. Squat yes. curl. Yeah. Squat to a curl. Yeah. Um, squat to a press, you know, you name them. <laughs> She does. Um, <laughs> I do them. Yeah. And um, I think they're very effective. I think that it makes your body work a little bit harder. I'm not saying your body does not work hard and just doing a basic squat. I do those all the time too. But um, I think, oh, uh, for like a spin sculpt class, for instance, um, when we're teaching that, you know, you have so much time off on the floor, right? Right. And so for me, you got 30 I minutes really max want to, get it to do all done. something um, effective and to where I kind of... Um, like to stand out as a trainer. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I kind of started doing the whole combo move um, 
idea in my class. Mm -hmm. And so I think when you come to my classes, you do expect that a little bit now. Yeah. Where's my combo move, Brooke? (laughs) (laughs) At least one. At least one. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's fun. I just like it because I think it's fun. And I think it works. And... I enjoy them. Awesome. Yeah. So with, um, let's go ahead and let's go there. Are you ready to go there? Let's go there. Let's talk Very about fun. your miracle. Oh yeah. 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 So let's talk about crew yes. and that experience, whatever you want to share. Um, how about if I start like this? So you had a C-section with crew, didn't you? You're, yes. th- you're a three-year-old. <laughs> Why did you have a C-section with crew and tell mm-hmm. us about your experience there and how it's changed your life? and how um, you've had to adapt from day-to-day life to your workouts, even to anything. Yeah, you to- totally. Okay, um, Okay. so <clears throat> again, some of you know this, some of you don't, um, if you're newer, because I'm probably new to some of you. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Crew was born three years ago at 23 weeks gestation. Um, I grow preemie. He was one pound, 12 ounces. Such a little peanut. Peanut, yeah. And um, I had an emergency C-section with him because I had an, inf- an infection in my placenta. Yep. And, um, Which you found out later. Yes. Mm-hmm. So after everything came back, pathology and all that stuff. Because um, up until about 20, well, 19 weeks, I guess. 19, 20 weeks. Um, I, was, I felt great mm-hmm. and um, felt really just good and just outside of other health issues that I was kind of experiencing. Again, nothing, health, nothing pregnancy related. Mm-hmm. But... I had him at 23 weeks. I had to go in the hospital on bed rest for two weeks prior to that. And there's basically like nothing, there was nothing that they could do. Like mm-hmm. my placenta was like detaching and yeah. because of the infection. Yeah. Yeah. And so I had him five months early and, um, he, or four months, I can't remember. It's a blur now, but he was in the NICU for five and a half months. Yeah. And, um, that was my life. And so what looked like a pile of ash really it was just literally like okay life was great I had I have two older kids as well again like I said I have three boys my three sons uh, (laughs) that's a lot of love totally (laughs) and um and a lot of crazy it it is crazy it just um life went upside down in a matter of like days right and um completely changed yeah Yeah. and he we didn't know if he was going to make it he, what is the survival rate for a less baby? Less than 10%. And Jess would probably know more than that, too. Mm-hmm. But I, as far as I know, less than 10%. And, like, back then... We were scared. We were all scared. Yeah. And I didn't... We didn't know. I mean, it was like... There were a couple days there where they're like, he may not make it tonight. Yeah. That's he so, may not make that's it today. So scary. Yeah. And so, in fact, I remember, like, the day I was supposed to go in and hold him... Mm-hmm. The, for the first time, he was having a really bad day. Yeah. And they were just like... Ooh. We don't, we not don't. today. Yeah. And so again, it's like two steps forward, one step back, two mm-hmm. steps forward, one step back, but he's here. Um, and so through that I had to quit, obviously at studio sweat. I couldn't, I couldn't keep teaching. I was just, that was my Mentally, life. physically like, time. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, Work. I literally would drop off my older ones at, uh, at school and head to the hospital. Mm-hmm. And so would Eric, my husband. Yeah. Um, and he would work from, ho- from crew's room, like hospital room. And we would sit there and then, and then I couldn't drive because I had a C-section. So I couldn't mm. drive for like four to six weeks. Oh, man. And so I would have people drive me to the yep, hospital. I remember that. And then, um, sometimes bring me home if Eric couldn't bring me home. And it was just kind of became this routine, like drop off at school, head to the hospital, mm-hmm. come back, pick up from school, go to sports and have dinner and then do it all again the next day. Yeah. And of course, like checking in at the hospital and all that. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, my goodness, three and a, three and a half years now. So he's in preschool. He's uh, catching up and doing really well. He's a little pistol. He is. He is a fighter. You he can tell a he's fight. a fighter. He knows it too. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's doing, he's doing great. Yes. And um, so are you. Mm-hmm. I know it was really traumatic. You're a very sensitive person. Mm-hmm. And I mean that as a compliment. Thank you. And um, I know that it was really hard for you. And one of the things that um, I think is amazing is you did handle it. You, um, mm. I love when you say, Brooke, no, I'm not fearless. I just choose to face my fears. Mm-hmm. And that's something that you did um, with the situation with crew and your family. Mm-hmm. And um, how's, it, how's it changed you? Um, 
I think, well, I think for me, as I've grown a lot, um, I don't put up with a lot of, of things <laughs> anymore like I used to. At a girl. Um, certain things that matter to me before just don't, I guess. Um, I make time for things that just really, really matter. Mm-hmm. Um, and just, you know, sticking hard to certain boundaries that I have and making sure that, like, my, fam- like, my family and it is taken care of first. And not that that wasn't a priority before. Sure. It just means something different now. And um, just because, you know, with crew being the way he is, like, he might face medical challenges, like, as we, you know, he, as he gets older. Sure. We don't know still. I mean, right. it's just, all we know is that he's doing really great and um, he's catching up. And and so I think just life so looks awesome. different now. Yeah. Um, and that's what I tell people. It's just like life looks different, but it's better. Yeah. Um, you know, I think like, gosh, life before him was amazing and um, a lot easier. Sure. <laughs> but um, Good but, things are always hard, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, <laughs> they really are. But I think now it's just, um, I just feel even just more secure in who I am. And I think just like self-care and self-love has become more important to me than it was before him and like just knowing that like I need my time and I need to I can say no to things and be okay with that yeah like just because I've had I've been forced to do that sure so yeah no that's that's great advice and um any other advice that you would give Mm. anyone who's going I mean there's all kinds of traumatic events that happen in in people's lives and Um, I've had them and you've had them more Mm -hmm. recently even. Um, but I guarantee there's people out there that, um, are going through something (laughs) right now. And I, I I can tell you, I know that Brooke couldn't see the light. Uh, it was hard Mm. to see the light for a while there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you did come out the other side stronger. Um, but it's so hard to see when you're in it, you know, is there any advice that you could give people, um, that are, are going through uh, something like that? Yeah, totally. I think, um, I just think accepting the, accepting the truth. And I think you could even say to yourself, um, because this is happening to me mm-hmm. or because this is happening to someone I love, yeah. um, I can, I'm still going to go forward or today, like, and focusing on like one day at a time, there were days where okay. I was like minute by minute, even yeah. like in this moment, I'm going to choose gratitude or I'm going to choose this. Um, or, you know, it just like keeping, I want to say a positive attitude and cause I, I am a firm believer in that, but there's certain days where you're just like, I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't reach for it. That's like, okay I though. Yeah. I yeah. think that that's okay. I mean, um, you know, when, <laughs> when you're around people that are always like, no, positive all the time. No, um, yeah. I, m- m- <laughs> I guess I'm not like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I, am like, no, it's okay to take a moment Mm -hmm. if you need a moment. Absolutely. But then get back to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like, have you ever seen that movie Spanglish? Where she's like one tear, (laughs) one tear, like you get one tear. Like it's, it's okay. Like, I feel like you need to feel these things. And give yourself that grace. Yeah. And a lot of people don't like to, to feel, Mm -hmm. you know, and I think it's easy to be like, Oh, I just got to push through. I got to push through. I got to push through. It's like, well, yeah, but give yourself that grace and like give yourself that time yeah. to heal and know that that's going to happen over time. Yeah. It's not going to happen um, overnight. N- overnight. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that. Um, I know that um, it's an important part of your story, mm. it, especially your story, you know, since I've known you. Yeah. It, yeah. It, you, you were gone for, um, well, let's just back it up. 2016. January, yeah. January, yeah, 2016. January 2016, you were gone for, you came back after about how long and started doing classes for on demand? I would say it had it been two years. Yeah, probably two years. Yeah. And then another year after mm-hmm. that, before you started back in studio, because she, mm-hmm. again, she gave herself the time that she needed. And I hope that you um, never felt any pressure to do anything mm-hmm. other than that. Mm-hmm. Um, with studio yeah. sweat. That was one of the things that was really important to us is Brooke was a very, was slash is a very key part of our sweat family. Um, she fulfills, uh, you know, how we have like all these different roles. Well, she has got a very specific role. And when she was gone for a little while, we did feel, we f- felt a void, mm-hmm. but um, we knew that it was going to be patched back up eventually, 
if we gave you your own time and make sure that you felt like all su our support. And I thought it was really cool how um, even those that um, are around the world mm. um, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. showed support for you in your situation. Tell us about what some of the things mm. that you remember the on-demanders doing oh to help gosh. support yeah. you. Um, I thought it was so cool. It, yeah, blown away, honestly. And I think... Um, I think that just made me appreciate this community even more. Mm -hmm. um, I had gift cards sent to my house or to the studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't give your personal address <laughs> out. <Right>. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but we will pass on your gifts. <laughs> so I had, like, yeah, I had cards and uh, gift cards mm -hmm. and um, just note after note after yep. note of people just saying they're thinking and praying and yeah, um, just really blessed by that. So. I, uh, I thought it was amazing too. Yeah, and nonstop mean, couldn't comments. Believe it. Yeah, couldn't believe it. And so when you started to come back, um, you know, and uh, pepper in some filmings and um, then some subs at mm -hmm. the studio and mm -hmm. stuff, it was just like. Oh. We're whole again. <laughs> like we felt whole again. Oh, um, so you. so we were so happy, and mm -hmm. we're happy you're at a place where you can um, allow us to be uh, more of a day to day part of your of your life. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. So let's go into this. Let's talk okay. about your diet because oh. you're down to um, you do about four workouts per week. And by the way, we don't work out for a living. Um, now I, I used to teach about twelve to sixteen classes per week. <laughs> yeah. Um, you did too. Yeah, I was we there used to at be. one point. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> Naughty. Um, <laughs> however, we have a pretty um, normal workout routine, like four to six per week yeah. is how many I usually do. You're saying generally it's four yeah. for you. And sometimes She's I'm just younger going than me, out though. for like a, a hike. Like I love yeah. to be outside. So yeah. that's not always lifting weights or something. Yeah. Yeah. So well, it's exercise. Still, it's, yeah. Exercise, it's yeah. activity. Um, so, th so that being said, I mean, you look phenomenal. Four workouts a week without also thinking about good nutrition mm. would not allow someone to look as amazing and feel, I hope, as amazing as you look and feel. So what? Okay. tell us about your diet. Mm, I love this question because that's been a roller coaster for me for years. Um, and again, going back, just like health stuff, I had like weird gut issues. And so I had to really take care of Oh, I of remember that. that. And skin, you had like... Yeah, I was just having a lot of problems and like finally started seeing a functional medicine doctor, which was really helpful for me. That's not helpful for everybody, but it was really helpful for me. Mm -hmm. And um, just trying to get to the bottom of that. And I think even going... Um, to one after I had crew was really helpful too. Cause, Cause your body changes that. with every pregnancy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so again, I'm not, this is something I don't eat a certain specific way. And I, I, I want people to know that like I'm human. I love pizza and I love, <laughs> um, ice cream. Like I love burgers and fries. Like I don't eat that every day. Yes. But, <laughs> um, but I'd love to splurge and I love going to pizza places with my family mm -hmm. and like just eating normal food. But I love, I do, I eat a lot of plants. I eat a lot of um, high fiber foods. That's something that's really Give important Give some to examples. Me. Um, okay, so plant-based is generally how I like to roll mm -hmm. most of the time. Uh, not necessarily vegetarian, but like I like plant-based foods. Um, so a lot of... Um, I do brown rice, I do quinoa, I do avocados, and I do um, salads, and I make really great smoothies in the morning and um, with fruits and vegetables and protein mm -hmm. powder. Mm -hmm. um, what protein powder do you I use? Is it a plant-based protein powder? It's a plant-based yeah. protein um, with all the amino acids in it. Mm -hmm. and, um, Miriam has some good ones. If you guys mm -hmm, go to our blog section or um, articles there's a and there's a great article on plant-based proteins mm -hmm. so um yeah so I eat I eat a, like a I try to have like a big salad for for lunch mm -hmm. um and add like um like pumpkin seeds and or sunflower seeds avocado for protein and again I'm not against meat I like I said I like burgers and all that stuff but um I think because of my body and where um I think my journey mm -hmm. and what really works for me and when I feel my best is when I'm eating a plant-based diet. Yep. I like what you're saying though, because what you're saying is find what works for you yes. and that you took the time. It sounds like you took the time to find out what works for you. I know you explored mm -hmm. gluten-free mm -hmm. for a while. Yep. 
Um, tell us about that. Um, well, I've explored it all. Yeah. <laughs> I've explored it all. Um, That's great, I think though. a lot of us have. Yeah. But yeah, it's just, I was gluten-free for a while because that was what I thought was kind of the problem. And it was, I mean, but it wasn't the whole picture. Yeah. Um, i done dairy-free. I've done... Um, Oh gosh. But anyway, I would say the whole gluten-free thing, it didn't, it it worked for a time. It didn't really take me in the right direction Mm -hmm. though. I had to heal my gut first, um, and then kind of build from there. So, um, but yeah. That's just it too. Sometimes when you find what works and then, um, your body will change Mm -hmm. and you'll need to shift, Mm -hmm. you know, what, what works in your diet. But what I like that you're saying, and, um, this is kind of a theme with all the studio sweat trainers to be honest, is we don't have a very restrictive diet. We don't tend to follow fad diets. No, Um, I don't count calories. Yeah. Um, Some people, and that works for them. It doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. Um, I think mainly for my mindset because I've had like body image problems in Mm -hmm. the past. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't work for me. It, does, it just doesn't serve me. It does yeah. for some. And I, I yeah. But, but you, the fact that you've counted calories mm-hmm. does tell me that you do have a general idea of maybe how much you should be consuming. Yeah. So I think counting calories um, to as a means to mm-hmm. an end is good. I just like personally don't feel like you should obsess over no. that. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, almost all of the studio sweat trainers don't have such restrictive diets um, that they are restricting their calories mm-hmm. um, or only eating certain types of food or anything Mm -hmm. and we all do um, indulge Mm -hmm. uh, now and then and that's okay but the foundational diet the day in day out that the diet that you are explaining and that most of Mm -hmm. us most of us have are good where we focus more on what we do eat Mm -hmm. as compared to what not to eat and so I think it's a really good just overall life philosophy (laughs) when it comes to nutrition is are the things that you're eating serving your body if they are um, and you're taking in enough of them then you don't have to think so much about like what you can't eat what's taboo right so yeah and I think just like I said like focusing on fiber is Mm -hmm. really big Mm -hmm. for me what's your favorite healthy snack or meal Mm. one that serves your body really serves your body well I love me like in the morning I love making like a smoothie so I'll do like spinach or kale and berries and mangoes and all those things frozen and and protein powder and a little bit of I like oat milk so I put a little bit of oat milk in it and then some water and then I'm good what about your favorite not so healthy splurge (laughs) item splurge pizza is it pizza yeah I think so (laughs) or like just eating like a yummy breakfast um Mm. you know I'm down with the yummy breakfast I like breakfast you mean omelet and a pancake Um, yeah (laughs) Totally. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. But okay. I love it all. I have one more question and then I'm going to let the people take over. Mm. Okay. So, uh, your faith, right? Yeah. Is very popular. Yeah. And it's, uh, completely it unique. Mm. And, um, I would like you, so the faith ride, um, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about it, what, uh, you used as your inspiration mm. and, um, why you found it special to you and why you think other people find it special to them. Um, yeah, I love that question. And that was a really fun, um, thing for me. I loved being creative with that as far as you were my first call. Like Aww. we had a lot of people request, um, uh, they, a lot of people requested, you know, specifically Christian, a Christian spin. Uh-huh. I'm just going to use the words that they used and, um, being who we are, uh, I went, you know what? I think I'd rather just make this about faith, mm-hmm. whatever faith people mm-hmm. have. Um, but the first person I thought of was Brooke oh, and I was you. like, I'm going to call her. <laughs> I want to make this happen. Will you do it? Yeah. <laughs> So. Well, and I love that people reached out about that. That's mm-hmm. really cool. Um, yes, it was important to me. I am a Christian, and my faith has been very important to me and still is very obviously important to me. Um, and I think that ride, I, I think that I was like, that was something that I really spent a lot of time on. Mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time on picking out the music um, because I wanted it to be something where people, whether they are Christian or not, um, would write it and feel uplifted mm-hmm. and feel exactly. Um, That's, yeah, you did such a good job. Um, inspired. I feel hopeful um, because again, yeah, we all have different backgrounds. We all have different beliefs, and I think um, 
for me, it was something where I wanted to share my faith, but also just invite people along the journey, regardless mm-hmm. of what their faith background was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the music, um, gosh, yeah, I love, I mean, it was just so much fun. It's it how you so use fun. the music too, um, to, uh, be and feel inspiration throughout mm-hmm. the, what was it? 45 minutes. I think it was something like that. So yeah. really good ride. If you, if you, if you guys haven't tried it yet, look it up. It's a good one. Um, and th- thanks for doing that. Yeah. Okay. I loved it. I'm so glad pe- got people liked it. So yeah, trust me. A lot of people are going to click play and go find that right <laughs> now too. So, okay. Jess, our beautiful, wonderful, talented, smart moderator. That was a really great introduction. I know. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. That's a five dollar introduction. Grab the mic. Hi guys. Yeah. yeah. I just been, you're very interesting. Mm-hmm. I love interesting. these trainer talks. I know. They're you educational. You like dive right? into these people. You had no mm-hmm. idea. Mm-hmm. You're very dynamic. Yeah. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. All right. You have a lot of good questions. Oh. Um, well, the first one is from Sylvia in France. Oh, hi, Sylvia. (laughs) She said, hey, beautiful Brooke. (laughs) So glad. Which is her nickname, and it's not just for the outside. It's for the inside. I think I told you that yesterday, the day before. (laughs) So glad you're sharing your thoughts with us. What she would like to know Uh about is your passion for this handmade jewelry. Oh, my gosh. And how you got involved in such a beautiful project. Oh, okay. So, yeah. um, Are you wearing one of them? I am. Yeah. Go ahead. She's not. She's not a salesperson. No. Um, so, because uh, I actually won't let anyone sell anything, like or advertise or promote anything through the studio. It's black and white. Yeah. But that look, she's wearing it. It's gorgeous, and I'm uh, not gonna lie. I bought some of it. I'll so. talk. Yeah. No. It's. Um. I'm an ambassador for a company called Noonday Collection. Noon, and, like as in N O O N. Yeah. Noon Day. All one word. Noon right? Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Collection. And. Um, I've been with Noonday for almost two years, and um, I just really kind of had this heart for the whole ethical fashion movement. Yes. And it was just something that was really important to me, and I was like, I would love to become an ambassador and kind of have a side hustle with this. And um, it's been really, really fun. Everything is handmade by artisans around the world. We work with over 4,500 artisans. Uh, to pull them out of poverty and give them dignified jobs, and so it's more than it's it's about more than just the pieces that come out of it. Yeah, yeah, and it's the stories behind them. That and, meant a lot um, to me too. When yes, I was like looking. when you um, when you purchase, you know, with Noonday Collection or other companies like it. Yes, it's, it's giving um, somebody hope. It's giving them a dignified job when they would otherwise have nothing. Um, and so yeah, they make beautiful beautiful pieces and. And you just got Love to them. visit there. So I what do you did. think impacted you? Like, what visit did you where? see that you were like? I mean, I, I know that. Guatemala. Holy smokes. Like. Um, yeah. So I earned an ambassador trip um, to go to Guatemala um, and to meet some of our artisans there. And I went with about 19 other ambassadors from around the country. And I think what was really great is that, like, obviously, yes, I get to wear these pieces, but I got to meet the people who make them. I got to see I think that's so cool. their living conditions and their working conditions. And just What were they like? Um, so I don't know if any of you have been to Guatemala. It's beautiful. Lots of volcanoes. Gorgeous. Good um, coffee. Good coffee. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of dirt floors, a okay. lot of, um, you third know, world. third world wires exposed. Um, you know, their sweet kids are able, you know, on the floor playing with them. And I think what's really great is that these mamas there, and again, we have men and women who make our uh, pieces, but... Um, what's amazing is that women are able to have a dignified job, work from their home, and um, be with their kids. That's awesome. Yeah. Just like we were able to do yeah. um, now in the U.S. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I work from home yeah. um, most of the time, um, mm-hmm. and I uh, as many hours as I work, and I think you know, I, I work a lot of hours. most of the people that work for you. Most of the people that yeah. work for yeah. me work from I home. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's it. Yeah. It's, thank you, Sylvia, for asking that question. Yeah. I love it. That's so sweet. All right. I know that you touched on your combo moves, but Mr. Andrew. <laughs> oh, hi, Andrew. <laughs> from Scotland. Oh, he wants to know. He's great. He called you the combo queen, of course. Mm-hmm. But then he asked what your favorite move. What's your favorite combo move? Mm. And then he wants to know, do you run? I don't. <laughs> this is so funny. If someone's I, chasing her. <laughs> if someone is chasing me. 
Um, I do not There's run. A spider I wish I did. I honestly do. I wish I did like run out of my house, like, oh, I'm going to go for like a 30 minute run and like walk out the door and just go. go. It's not my thing. Um, it's not my thing. I wish it was. It's just not. Um, He's big into running. But I'm really so. glad you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go you. I will cheer you on. He truly does. I will cheer yeah. you on. That is so kind. Um, no, I don't run, but my favorite combo move, I would just, um, I would say is squat, hammer curl, shoulder press. That's what I was going to suggest for you. I feel like yeah. you're really like, Get them you done. can see that zeal. So it's a triple, a triple, yeah. it's a triple, triple, triple whammy. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. Thanks, Andrew. All right. Miss Becky Walker mm. from Colorado. Hi, Becky. Um, oh, great question. This is what I was going to ask you. <laughs> Do your sons ever work out with oh, you? Oh, yeah. And do you purposely try to instill in them that healthy regimen of like, or do you let them choose or do, you, hey, man, let's go do some push-ups. Drop and give me 10. Yeah, right. Like, That's like a great question. And then on occasion, when I do bring crew to the gym, you will see him in the back doing push-ups. push-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Not in my class because he's in childcare, but usually Bethany teaches before me and he'll be like, and she can attest to this. Yeah. Like, just or, drop and do them. That's <laughs> awesome. A little tiny weight for like yes. two pounds. Mm-hmm. Um, that's right. That's so funny. Yeah, kids great sweat. question, Becky. Thank you so much for that. Um, yes, I do work out with my kids. I wouldn't say all the time. Um, but over the summer, like... Sometimes, like, my middle one loves to do that stuff with me. We'll go in the garage and mess around and work on the T-Rex and medicine balls. And, yeah. Um, I love to be outside, so I love to walk and hike, and I drag them along with me, and um, they, <laughs> they enjoy it for the most like, part. Like, literally drag. <laughs> drag. I know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, we, I think we're a very active family. They're super involved in sports, um, big, big soccer players. And so, um, yeah. What about your Healthy husband? Food. Is mm-hmm. he like, does he come? Are you like, honey, it's Saturday morning. Let's go work out. <laughs> or Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah? yeah. By yeah, the way, you, you, you might have seen um, he's her, in the video her husband <laughs> in um, some of the videos, and he's known as Hot Eric. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't even know if I've ever seen him. Oh my he's God. in a lot of he's um, hysterical. I love that about it. I love that. Yeah, he he is a good looking guy. Um, he I is. guess I, I don't look at him that way because he's your husband. Right. So, um, but he is a, he is a good looking guy. So, well done, you. Thank you. Good job. Oh, thanks. You know, good job. Um, <laughs> he's great. Uh, for example, if you're wondering um, which one is Eric, if you go to uh, her TRX class where you can also use dumbbells. Oh, yeah. Eric is the model <laughs> showing you how to use uh, dumbbell, <laughs> do the dumbbell, the same exercises Brooke, that Brooke is doing on TRX using dumbbells. So yeah. there you go. You, you can go find him. Yeah. So um, that's fantastic. Mm. Okay. What else do you have? So All right. So Ashley Hi, was Ashley. just asking, she says she loves your postpartum ab workouts mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as you. she's been a surrogate. Oh, and that's great. Yeah. She's about Seriously? To- yeah. That's so cool. That's amazing. And she said she's um, about to do it again. Mm. And she's asking um, any plans for some during pregnancy workouts? Like, pop, not maybe you, but like, do you have oh, any ideas? for someone of, who is pregnant. Right. Okay. Do I have any plans for that? No. <laughs> 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 she's good. Three's enough. <laughs> um. Oh gosh, I don't. That know. might be a question more for me. I yeah, guess. go like, for that. Yeah, yeah. No, we're we're always um, the the short answer is yes that we do plan on adding more uh, mm. workouts that are specific to those that are pregnant. However, um, I will say that um, the idea is that you should be able to do, especially Ashley, you've been working out with us for a while. You should be able to do pretty much any workout that's already out there that you you and your doctor are comfortable with. Um, so um, most of our trainers um, and sorry sandy's barking in the background jade take care of her um uh most of our workouts are uh we you know we always encourage everybody to modify Mm. however they would need to modify um and most doctors will say if you did it before you can do it after um but you just have to do what you feel Mm -hmm. comfortable with and 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 you know miriam was doing burpees until past due date so bethany just chimed in and said she thinks miriam yes great idea great idea yeah 
burpees. Well, I can, I can, don't I can do totally, those. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there are limits. Um, but again, you just have to do what you and your doctor are, are okay with. So, I mean, if you, if you feel good doing a burpee, I guess you, you just have to take your legs wider because there's like this big thing here. But, mm. um, <laughs> you know, I had a trainer who taught, um, spinning up until past her due date. And finally I was like, no, sweetie, we got it. We got, it. it's, it, We're it's, done. it's, it's, it's uh, I'm the baby's gonna come out spinning watching you she actually went into labor on the treadmill believe it or not um, but oh she was just gosh. walking at this point she was two days overdue and she was like get out get out get out <laughs> um but um so to answer your question yeah and we do we do have some um there's a couple already in the mm. library and we can add more but don't don't shy away from doing the workouts that are out there especially a lot of those that are in the um uh, body sculpt section. Mm -hmm. You can spin. You can do everything pretty much that you used to do. Just watch your intensity. Maybe take it down a notch. Well, some so. of the I've noticed I've seen your postpartum ones that you did, mm -hmm. and they're great. Also, if you're not necessarily pregnant mm -hmm. or that you delivered, could be a man that has lower back pain. Totally could do yeah. those too because they're just a lower impact, but you're still activating muscles that a chiropractor would have yeah, you those, try and those, do, you know, those deep ones. Yeah. 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 That's a great series yeah. though. And in yeah, general, we're always looking for ideas on series like that. We had so many people ask us for those, um, specific workouts, uh, those post that postpartum part postpartum abs. Yeah. Um, but anything else that you guys are looking for, um, just, just let us know because though with pregnancy, I will say like what I said, you can do most of the workouts that we already have, even mm -hmm. if you are pregnant, if you were doing them before, um, right. we're not going to probably cater to someone who didn't work out before and is working out now anyways. So that's right. too scary for us. Right. Um, that's a lot of pressure. yeah, that's, that's a lot of pressure and <laughs> not pressure that we're going to take. That's not going to make us diamonds. Um, so <laughs> thanks Jess. <laughs> That's like a dad joke. Thank you. Yeah. Pressure makes diamonds, diamonds you know? Right. Yeah. I like it. Thank um, you, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she's one of our pretty active comrades. Um, okay. She just said thank you. Okay. So then I have Miss Lisa. Hi, Lisa. She says, I'm a runner. She does half marathons and she uses Studio Sweat as her cross training. Okay. So awesome. can you suggest workouts, classes that target my non running? Just because you're not non runner, <laughs> <My, yeah. Mus> <laughs> non runner. Yes, let her muscles. get deep here, so she can get stronger. Um, so she just wants to know what your workout suggestions would be for non runner muscles. I'm not oh, really sure. Okay. I mean, okay. So, just well, Lisa, I don't know if you have a TRX. I was just going to say, just but, do your TRX. Um, I your really think if you do some of our TRX classes. Um, I think a lot of those, especially like runner's lunges, and I don't think you can do that off the t TRX, but like runner's lunges, reverse lunges, side lunges, all like all the whole lunging series, I feel like are really dynamic and I think great for runners. Um, what would you say to that? I think. Yeah, any any of those exercises are going to be fantastic and, mm -hmm. and um, anything to challenge the upper body and core because right. the, the legs get... A pretty good workout running but the yeah. upper body and core not so much yeah. also flexibility mm, so any of the yoga classes yeah I think yeah would definitely be great so if you're let's say that you run two to three times a week uh, I mean you've got, just got to make sure that you're getting in that strength training not only to work those muscles that you don't work running but also to keep your joints and yeah. your hips and your knees and your ankles I know mm -hmm. I'm working it all the way down yep. to keep those strong well, and safe Right. Yeah. So any of the body sculpt workouts, mm -hmm. I would probably, and, and the yoga yeah. and stretch and restore yeah. and ab. Yeah. <laughs> all the things. Yes. <laughs> all the, all the things. So hopefully that helps. Well, I think that's good because a lot of runners try to maybe stay away from muscle, Uh huh. but as we get older, our muscles atrophy naturally. Right. And so we would need to do some sort of something. And if it's not yeah. necessarily picking up weight, yeah. TRX body, is your body, body exercises weight. Yeah. Too. Even if you don't have a TRX, I mean, there's so much you can do just with your body. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Your Any of the HIIT training workouts would mm -hmm. be really good too. We've got several of those 20 minute HIIT workouts. Yeah. Um, same thing. They're in the body sculpt killer cardio section. Those are fantastic too, because those will actually even increase. I, I, they do build muscle, but they, they're great. Um, uh, for increasing your fitness level, um, or bettering your fitness level so that make you even stronger runner. So great. So somebody chimed in during this TRX chat and <laughs> I don't know that you, I don't know if you know the answer. Maybe Kat can help with this one too. It's saying she's asking, um, how much room you need for a TRX. Oh, I love that question. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? Brooke okay. knows. Yeah. She's a master trainer. <laughs> How much, how much space do you, you need? really don't like, okay. So I have a, a video on there. Um, who is this? 
Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Um, so if you go into our our classes, you're just hit TRX. I think I I filmed one a while ago. Small spaces. For small, yeah, for small spaces. So because um, they're designed to take on the road with you, mm-hmm. um, and so. When you buy one, I'm assuming you have one if you don't, but if you buy one, um, you can just hook it up to a door. You just They come with like a door jam, and you just hook it up to a door. And you don't need you don't need a whole lot. I mean, you, have, you can do squats, curls, rows, chest press. Um, just think of like an area in your house where you don't have a lot of room and, and just try it. About so, five feet wide yeah. um, is, is yeah, enough. Yeah, I mean... Five, a five by five is yeah. about the smallest mm-hmm. space that you can work in, but that's a pretty small space. That's small, space. and that yeah. feels really tight. But I yeah. mean, if that's your situation, it's absolutely doable. Mm-hmm. 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 I mean, ideally, you're going to have more like a, more like an eight by eight mm-hmm. little area, but mm-hmm. you can do it in, in a five by eight. And then the ideal anchor point is uh, for the height is nine feet. Um, but you can, like Brooke was saying, you can do it on a door, and a lot of people's doors are. And I've done them on like so. a tree. Just yeah. so I could yeah. maybe give her this um, link. Is it just the thirty-minute TRX sweating in small spaces? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Okay, sweating in small spaces. <laughs> that's a good one. So, okay, well there you go. All right, thank you. Do you want and me to Liz, ask? A- Liz chimed in and said, uh, <laughs> "You know, Liz, which Liz? Liz Wait Smart, our Liz." Okay. Yes, she hi, Liz. said she loves your TRX for hey, small Liz. spaces. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you so that's much. a good one. And then Lisa, that you were answering the running question mm-hmm. of not being a runner but wanted workouts. She was saying she doesn't have a TRX, but she loves the scope workouts. Yeah, and she's noticed go. that she's racing faster because of the studio sweat workouts she's doing with the sculpt. Well, and that we have training. someone yeah. in the studio um, who does like century runs. Mm-hmm. And so, and that's what she uses the studio for is for her cross training. Yeah. So um, all of her strength, yeah. cardio on the bike, that's low impact because running is so high impact Yeah. on those joints. So it is important to do this. Mm-hmm. The, even, you know, you think, oh, well, I get enough quads, hamstrings, calves, like when you're running, you do, mm-hmm. but it's a, it's a little bit different. It's nice to isolate them, um, make sure that they're Strengthen nice and them. strong. Yeah, yeah, the totally. joints and yeah, good. All right. So now I have some questions um, that we had submitted, and I don't necessarily have. This one actually was from Brian. You're Brian. <laughs> that maybe. Brian. <laughs> I really like this question. He said. Or he's asking, try to think back to the first class you ever taught. <laughs> he was in that. <laughs> <laughs> was he? Maybe. Was he really? He totally yeah. was. Uh, sorry. He totally was. Yeah. He was a client. Oh, well he said, why he didn't you sign an autograph? Me. No, I'm just kidding. He didn't say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what was going through your head and how did you prepare? Do you remember? I love that. Yes, because I forgot my, um, I forgot my class like design. Oh, dear God. Yeah. Yeah. And, um. <laughs> let me tell you (laughs) you start you learn how to wing it real quick yeah (laughs) and um I am someone thankfully who likes beat and goes off of not always I don't always go off of beat Mm -hmm. but in that moment I had to and so it was like we didn't have cadence oh my gosh yeah and I was a nervous wreck because I was like I said brand brand new and um totally nervous and I wasn't that good so I really wasn't <laughs> you mean you I love that off you right off the bat like brilliant I wasn't I that, that good that. um I wasn't that good I, I knew and I knew that but I knew that it was something that I was like you know what I'm gonna be good <laughs> you were right <laughs> yeah <laughs> she was right I'm gonna be yeah I may suck right now but I'm gonna be great <laughs> yeah yeah we didn't put the camera on you for a while Please but, don't. Which but once we did it never came question. off I want and, to know about um, your first filming okay that was a nervous wreck too Eric probably remembers. I was so nervous. Mm-hmm. Um, You're not alone. Most people are. I still do. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. say that I go in and I'm like, I'm going to like nail, nail this. Yeah. Like I still get really nervous um, for different reasons. How cute is that? I don't know. I mean, but yeah, we're human. when I first start, yeah, and it's like, you're always growing and you're always learning. Like, I would not say that I'm a master at any of this. Like, I still need Except to for grow. TRX. <laughs> <laughs> and I still want to learn and get better. Like, I don't, I haven't reached my, I don't know. Max potential. Max, yeah, you I never don't, will. I don't think everyone does. Like, we never does. will. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, I love, 
I like taking uh, the best instructors, in my opinion. Well, first of all, the best, some of the best studio sweat instructors on demand and in studio instructors are those that I, I say we homegrew. Um, mm. And I put you into that category, really, because you were so green when you came in. Yeah. Um, and um, because it, it actually is hard to teach an old dog new tricks sometimes. And they, you come in and you got your ways. And um, you we have like... Slate. Yeah, yeah, clean slate. And yeah. man, um, I will say Brooke, Mayor W, um, Jess, those are the ones that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Are, I remember when Mayor W used to come to my class. Right. Like as a client. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I and you that. and Mayor used yeah. to come to mine yeah. even. And, it was and, great. And Brian. We like, just, we get thrown yeah. into the deep end. That's, you, you, that's where you go. We that's just go straight to the deep end. That's yeah. right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I know. But you guys, but look how amazing you turned out is all I'm saying. So um, I think I think it's pretty cool that yeah, it's fun. you acknowledge that you weren't like so great. I wasn't. Of, no, I wasn't either. So but it's funny. Fake it till you make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just go for it. But Liz just, just said it. you have such a soothing voice during training. And that's <laughs> the first really thing does. that came to my mind Aww. is one of your intros. Yeah. It's like you're almost about to start yoga with you because it's mm-hmm. just like you talk calm and slow. And yes. I'm like, OK, Brooke. And then I'm like, oh, we're about to go get real sweaty. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm so calm now. She and Bethany (laughs) are very, like, tricky that way, I would say. Yeah. And AJ, too. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, like, me and Rebecca were more like, ah! (laughs) Boom. (laughs) Yeah, boom. Drafted. I mean, it's not that we're not motivational. We we are. um, Just in in a different way, you're very um, subtly... mm, motivational and inspirational and I love your training Thank style you. I mean I don't try to make it mine but I do steal phrases from you and I, I hope you steal some from yeah. me sometimes too that's the best one well I think my yeah, favorite you glean from other people yeah. you don't need to become that other person you right glean from other people like ooh, I like that that Be would resonate with some people yeah. yeah the brookism I like is does does that serve does that serve me Mm. I love yeah, do it if that. it serves you. Yeah. yeah, I love how you say that. Yeah, yeah. And now it's uh, it's continuing. People really are saying how much <laughs> they didn't know in real life if you always speak like this, and now they're realizing you do. I do. And so they're like, they feel like they know you now. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. it's really hurt. It wasn't a facade for the, yeah. the camera. Oh, nope. I hope I hope I come across real. Yeah. yeah. No, like just calm and soothing, and like they're feeling <laughs> you today. That, right. No, that is her personality. That's why I was saying, um, like that was was missed yeah. when you were uh, out for a little bit. Okay, and that was one of the voids that I think that you know we I guess we're like a puzzle. Yeah, and um, that piece was sort of like temporarily like taken out but we were just really anxious and excited mm. to see her come back and fill our puzzle and we can always the thing is we can always grow our puzzle but only with people <laughs> who are genuine uh, and authentic which I'm glad that they they now know um this is her on and off camera yeah even though there's a camera on us <laughs> yeah that's all right okay that's all right what else you got Jess we have uh, With that 10 in minutes. Mind, we oh. do. Time check. We have 9 minutes and 30 seconds. You guys are doing great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, it's really interesting once we open these doors of how much then it's like they Flag start feeling open, yeah. yeah then they yeah. feel like they're like Good. with you so they just have all these ask questions. away ask away so what would be advice that you would give to a new instructor mm. so I guess you could pretend like you're talking to me <laughs> or like you're really yeah I guess you're really talking to me um, but <laughs> I think whether you're a new instructor yeah I think as a new instructor um or just in general I think just um like know who you are and that's okay you're just know like you're gonna grow if you commit to it um like I said before like I was not good but I knew that I wanted to be and I had that as um my goal like no I'm not good yet I'm growing still and I still am growing um because like I said I don't want to be I want to continue to be the best version of myself and I want to continue to grow but I that's what I would say as a new one is just don't quit um, even if you have like two people in your class, um, don't give up because that's not the end result. That may not have been anything to do with you. Okay? That's really and good I advice. I think that's the biggest thing is like, I used to take that stuff so personally. Yeah. Um, so personally and like, oh my gosh. Some of our instructors still do. <laughs> and well, it's easy to do that. I think sometimes absolutely because it's like you do, you invest so much time and like putting your music together and putting your workouts together to mm-hmm. make it so great. Cause you want it to be great yeah. and you want people to like it and to vibe with it. And, mm-hmm. um, sometimes they will, and sometimes they won't. And I, the biggest thing is you can't please everybody. Right. True. Um, and so don't go in it thinking that you will. Mm-hmm. 
and um, not with music not with no, drills and that's okay because it's not it's yeah. it doesn't that's it's not about you right and it's it's more of like if you look at it as this is me this is who I am and this is how I want to shine as an instructor um and how can I be a blessing to the people in my class? Because mm-hmm. you don't know what they're coming in with. Right. They may act True. like they don't want to be there because something really bad might have happened to them that day. Yeah. Like none of us know what people are walking in with. Right. Um, and so for us, it's like, in a sense, like our job to give them that hour. Yeah. Of, you know what? You go for it. Like, I love. You may not believe see, in yourself right now, see, but I do. This is so I wanted you back. So <laughs> um, I love that you say that because whether it's two people or a full house Mm -hmm. I feel like you it doesn't matter those two people deserve your all they're the ones that did show up they did show up and that's the hardest part and we just talked about this this morning in my nine o'clock 920 class it's like the hardest part about working out is showing up yeah and then it's like the first 10 minutes but then it's like you're golden yeah so just like as an instructor whether you're brand new five years, 10 years, whatever, just know that like you give you, you show up and give what you have to give and let other people just like, just encourage them. Yeah. Like I love too what you said that it's not your workout. Um, Mm. that's, that's really key. And one of the things that I, um, talk about to new instructors a lot is you really need to keep in mind who, um, especially when you're filming for on demand, Mm. um, who your average audience, um, member is going to be because, Um, for example, and I use this a lot, like Bethany and Miriam, um, their legs are a lot shorter. And so they literally can go faster on the bike. It's just science. Mm -hmm. Um, and Mm -hmm. so I, I like to say, well, you got to remember that, um, maybe the average person taking this class is five, five, Mm -hmm. maybe five, seven, five, eight, whatever. So you got to think about that. And, um, same with the, um, exercises and the drills. Um, you can't, just think about you and your workout mm-hmm. and your, your experience. Mm-hmm. We need to think about their experience. Yeah. And when I have those smaller classes, I look at it as an opportunity to do things that I can't do with larger groups. So yeah. that's just a flip that I switch, yeah. switch that I flip. Yeah, switch <laughs> that I flip. <laughs> Come on, that sentence is tough, right? I mean, think about it. You know, Think about the words that are yeah. being used there. So. so just keep going. Don't give up. And um don't take it personally. Yeah. I mean, I know, like I said, I know it's hard. I used to take it so personally. Yeah. Just keep going. Yeah. And you be you. So, okay. All right. So this is probably our last question. Okay. From Miss Samantha. Hi. Um, she kind of a two part. What is your favorite workout you filmed? And what is your favorite class in the library? That you've taken of someone else's. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Of somebody else's. Oh man. I have a lot that I've taken of other people. So I don't think I have like a favorite of that um, because they're, they're all good. And I think that's what I love about our trainers is that they're, everybody's different. And like Mm -hmm. I said, everybody adds to the puzzle. Like everybody has their thing. And I think, um, how about yours that you filmed? Like um, that you can remember. It's, it's hard to remember them all, right? Yeah. yeah, knock off some of her, um, name some of her um, workouts. and. Um, well, I know a lot of people want to know if your Faith Ride was your favorite. Well, uh, that's definitely, that's top definitely up five, there. Top five, top two. Top two. Yeah, that I would say for sure, because it means it's so important to me. And again, all, right. all my classes are important to me. You have an me. empowered... Um, that was a good one. T-Rex in the park. Uh, the T-Rex in the park was really body. fun. Um, That's a really different environment. environment. A different environment. You're yeah. outside. You love outside? Um, I love being outside. Um, um, 30 minutes spin, nine ways to burn. <laughs> hit load more. That you. was a lot of people on that yeah. one. Um, oh, that one. Which one's that one? The that one. Carve it up? The carve it up leg Sexy workout. Legs. Um, oh, yeah. That was a good oh, one. I, I took that. That yeah. was fun. Yeah. And then the one where I'm doing that tricep combo move. I've tried that? this class. That was the triple threat. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Again, I like I said, I've done a lot of them. That's why I, I, the ones that are coming up I for like me are the most I like these with your long recent. blonde hair. You look so <laughs> My hair different. hair was really so blonde. Yeah. Or this, what about the battle of the really blonde? Huh? Blonde. Oh, that was fun. The yes. battle of the blonde. That was honestly, I don't think many of you know, that was my first class back filming after I had crew battle of the bones oh, really? yeah I was too oh, afraid honestly this is an honest truth good. I yeah, didn't want to do it on my own surrounding either. you well that worked um, out because well. I probably would have cried <laughs> so it's like Bethany and Mare <laughs> come be my buddies <laughs> please and I kind of pretended and they, they were, were like all, who are well, you is this a new instructor yeah <laughs> she trying Bethany out Bethany's always blonde but Brooke and Mare W <laughs> who's are, the newbie yeah <laughs> clearly it's you um Brooke and um Mare W are not always um blondes they they go back and forth but they were all three of them were pretty blonde for that one. As a matter of fact, I think that you, 
Yeah. Who was the most blonde? I don't know. I Anyways, I'm wasting picture in the studio. Yeah. A lot of people think that that's Bethany. The one where I'm blonde with the short hair. Oh, and the sure, carrots. sure. Yeah. yeah. And I love that. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's Bethany. Yep. <laughs> so I always tell me. people she owns Studio Sweat. So. <laughs> no, that was, that's you, yeah? Yeah. That's I me. Say, I can, you can tell it's you. But, yeah. um, no, my hair used to be like Gwen Stefani blonde. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Long time ago. Though. You can long go either ago. way. You look beautiful no matter what. Oh, gosh. Short, long, blonde, brown. Yeah. Okay, so that was your classes. Who's your fave from not your classes? I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't, you don't know. know. I think everybody's amazing. I mean, if you're, okay. Do you if take you're everybody's? Um... I have taken everybody. Who's your go-to studio? That's what I was just going to say. Who, okay, who's sculpt? Who would you go to? Ooh. Oh gosh, you guys, this you, is really. You hard. want to be sore? How about that? Because I know, okay, do like, Mayor W me? doesn't get sore unless she gets tore up on the TRX doing core mm-hmm. stuff. Right. So what about you? Um, I took Rebecca, one of Rebecca's, and I laughed so Dangerous. hard. Well, I was dying. Dangerous. I was <laughs> dying, but I was laughing at the same time. Because trying to keep like, up with her. <laughs> trying to do the push-ups because, like, the way she would count them. Yeah, she she's calls like, we're going to do 50. And she I'm like, calls them okay. special counts. It's yes. one, one, two, three, four, four five, six, six seven. Which is like, half, like, wait, wait or less. Wait, I'm still on one. Yeah. But I loved it. I've and taken so, that one too. Yes. I know what one you're talking like, wait, about. Wait, slow down. Yeah. Nope. You just <laughs> you gotta go at your own you pace. Go. You I'll just tell go. you that with any Rebecca classes, you go at your own um, pace. Yeah. And then like I, um, I think I was telling you this. I was I've been doing like I said, like a lot of yoga I was because just say I really yoga. try. Is Zach right? Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. And yeah. I did try it after you told yeah. me, and I was a little nervous, but yeah. I did it. Did you? Yeah, good. I loved it. It was really good. Yeah. So I guess closing is just everyone is telling you thank you and they oh, love listening thanks, guys and so much knowledge great advice <laughs> saying that so. you changed lives and Aww. they look forward to seeing you in classes thank you thank All you right. so it's much very, it's an yeah. honor it's an honor well brooke thank you so much yeah. for um sharing your story <laughs> yes. and answering um these questions today i i love you so much and i, oh, I love you too thank really you, brooke. appreciate thank you. you taking the time to come out today and oh, uh, thanks everybody Bye. we hope you learned a lot have a Bye, good guys. one we'll talk to you later <laughs>